Lucas Media, breaking news, LeBron James Jr., a.k.a. Bronny James, is expected to transfer from USC, University of Southern California. The Twitter's on fire right now, and I'm seeing several different people have their schools that they think that he might go to. And as y'all can see in this this image, uh, Michelle, rumors he can, he might go to Duquesne. Now, some of y'all might say, why? Why would he go there? But LeBron, one of his best friends, Drew Droyce, who just became the head basketball coach after his former high school coach, what's his name, uh, Keith Danbrot. But now, like I said, his best friend, Drew Droyce III, is the new head basketball coach. But he might go there. i seen some people say Ohio State. Um, I could also see that where they might end up getting him and try to lure Bryce over there at some point. That's also a possibility. But honestly, I thought Bronny was going to stay. The former coach, Andy Enfield, he got the heck out of Dodge. And I figured that they might end up bringing a more clutch-friendly coach and that LeBronny would be starting. But clearly, he's using he's leaving USC. I personally don't think he should have went there in the first place. I supported him. But I think he should have went somewhere where he was going to get a way more chance to play. It felt like they didn't really know what they was doing with him. And he would sometimes he he coming off the bench, but he's not really playing that much. And then they're not winning. And I didn't understand why any infield just didn't mix it up. And, you know, they got out of town before the big media is coming. Now, I personally felt like Bronny should stay a second year. Caught a lot of heat on on this platform, even though I mentioned future Hall of Famers that's played multiple years in college. Everybody's not a one and done. And as y'all can see, even a lot of the one and done players that's coming from high school, I mean, from college to pros, they're not winning in college and they're not winning in um, the NBA. You know, some of them are struggling. And I feel like that college basketball is starting to change. The one and done thing is not working. And I do think that you might start seeing players. It'll be more common for players to say a couple years, maybe not those one or two, three, play, those two or three players. But I think that overall, it'd be OK for more players to stay in college at least two years. You know, that's why I'm like, why are y'all killing me in my comment section when Bronny can stay for two years? He come out at age 20, right? 2021, 20, however old he is. But Michael, but Michael Jordan stayed three years. Magic Johnson stayed three years. Larry Bird, I believe, stayed three years, but I know he had a red shirt when he left Indiana. It's okay for players to stay multiple years. John ja Morant, one of the superstars in the NBA, John ja Morant, played two years. Jalen Brunson played two years. You know, yeah, Anthony Davis played one year, but again, he a top 75 player. And could you imagine if they ran it back one more year, they probably would have won back-to-back national titles. So, man, whatever, Brian, you're going to do, I'm going to support him. And I didn't think that I never said that he wasn't NBA talent. I just think he will be a player to come out after two or three years. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. What y'all think?